The first method for getting your line work onto your watercolor paper is a light box. And you'll need a printed picture. It could be black and white or color. And then I like to use an HB pencil and then you'll need your watercolor paper. This is cold pressed watercolor paper. And then I have some delicate surface masking tape. I'm putting the image on the light box and it fits better to the side, which is fine. It doesn't really matter what direction you trace it in. Um, it'll, it'll get on the paper either way. So I'm taping it down just so it's secure. And then I dim the overhead light so I can see a little bit better. And then I take my time and I trace with my HB pencil. And what you choose to trace is completely up to you. It just depends how much information you want to begin your painting with. I also like to take my eraser and lightly erase the lines just so the sketch is nice and light for my watercolor painting. If you don't have a light table, a tablet or an illuminated screen can sometimes work. Dimming the lights and brightening the screen can help you see it better. Or a bright window can often work too. And again, it helps to make the room as dim as possible to better see the image through the paper. The next method is a transfer method. You will need your watercolor paper, a printed image, a pencil, and either a stylus tool or a ballpoint pen can work and some tape. Some folks like carbon paper, but for watercolor, I feel like the lines are too dark and I can't erase them. So I like to do a little DIY transfer paper. So on the back of your printed image, use a pencil and you can use an HB or a 2B. I just don't like it too dark for watercolor. It's different for gouache, acrylics, or oils, but for watercolor, I like it fairly light and erasable. So I used a 2B here actually, and then and I'm going to tape it to the watercolor paper and position it where I want it and then tape it down so it's nice and secure and some people like this method more than a light box just because you can see the image on top rather than having to look through the paper and you can use a stylus tool or again you can use a ballpoint pen the idea is to put pressure as you trace the image and it'll go onto your paper. And as you can see, I can erase it. I can redraw my lines, you know, whatever I need to do because it's pencil. It's just graphite. So here I'm going to use the ballpoint pen. And sometimes that's nice just because you can see where you've already traced, whereas the stylus tool uh, can sometimes leave an indent. And so there is the image finished and you can see the comparison gives you a fairly similar result and I can lighten with my eraser on this one as well. So here they are side by side. The next method is to simply observe and sketch the basic lines and shapes that you see and keeping in mind that drawing is an approximation and it doesn't have to be perfect but it could be the essence of what you see, in this case, a bottle. And oftentimes artists prefer to freehand sketch and do it that way. And other times artists want to get to painting sooner. So even if they know they can draw it freehand, they want to trace or transfer with the light box or the graphite paper to speed up the process and move to painting quicker. Each method can work and will get you a fairly similar result. The goal is just a nice light line.